Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. Opening statements are set for today in one of the most high-profile murder trials in Chicago in years. Mike Puginelli has more on that story. More than five years ago, when 15-year-old Hydea Pendleton was gunned down in a Chicago park by two accused gang members. This is video inside courtroom 702, where the judge has allowed a camera to record much of the proceedings. Opening statements have just gotten underway moments ago as prosecutors begin to lay out their case against two men who will be tried simultaneously, but whose cases will be heard by separate juries. Now, Pendleton was a King High School honor student who had just returned from Washington, D.C., where she had March in President Obama's inaugural festivities. The president and first lady were so moved by what happened to Hydea that Michelle Obama attended the funeral here in Chicago. Here she can be seen comforting Hydea's mom. President Obama even mentioned the teenager in his State of the Union address following her murder. Two accused gang members were picked up and charged with the murder less than two weeks after it happened. Prosecutors say Kenneth Williams drove the getaway car and Michael Ward fired the fatal shot. If he's convicted, Ward could spend the rest of his life in prison. Williams could be locked up for the next 75 years if he's convicted. Now, just about 15 minutes ago, both defendants were escorted into the courtroom. Both were wearing suits and ties. It did not appear that they locked eyes with the parents of Hydea Pendleton, who were sitting in the front row of the courtroom, which I have to say is absolutely packed. The injuries in this case, tremendous. They actually brought four different benches into the room to try and accommodate the overflow crowd. Despite that, there were still about 30 people lining the walls of the courtroom. And now here's meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist with your forecast. So it's hazy, hot and humid for us today. We have an air quality alert in effect until midnight, and that's for the city of Chicago all the way west through Kane County and down into Grundy and LaSalle. The reason being we have this stagnant ridge of high pressure. The air is sinking and drying underneath. The wind flow is light. Also, we have those 90 degree temperatures, so everything's kind of trapped here at the surface. So for the very young, the very old or anybody with respiratory issues, you want to maybe stay in the AC if possible during the heat of the afternoon. Now things are about to change for tomorrow. Here is a cold front. And and there's tropical moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico. Those two elements are going to come together and bring us rain. Not today, though. Today is just hazy, hot and humid. But from that system, I think we'll see some high, thin clouds this afternoon and not really a lake breeze. Even in Chicago, 90 for a high today, 89 in Ottawa. So while we're under this haze today, here comes the rain, making that tropical connection, all of it moving in for Wednesday. So we could have showers for the morning rush, increasing rains throughout the day. It's not so much a severe weather threat tomorrow as far as tornadoes or hail or damaging winds. It's more of a localized flooding event because of the slow forward speed of these cells as they move through. They'll have a lot of moisture gathered with them too, so they will probably create one to two inches of rain.